Well, we know she's going to have a holly jolly Christmas because it's in her name. Holly Sprong joins us <laughs> along with uh, Jacqueline Slater. Jack, uh, Jacqueline, I'm trying to think of a song for you, a Christmas song, but uh, <laughs> having a hard time. I'm letting you down. You are. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Uh, you guys are with the Titusville YMCA. What's been going on? A lot of planning's going on at the Y, as always. Um, tonight we have, or this afternoon actually, of our basket raffles. So we have lots of um, great baskets at the Y lined up, eight of them, themed baskets. And all of the things inside of them were donated by the group exercise classes. And cool. so everybody should really stop by and check them out. Um, there's like a spa day basket, a family fun basket, date night basket, a grandma got ran over by rain beer basket. <laughs> uh, now that's um, funny. Yeah, snow day. <laughs> Penguins um, tickets. Yep, yep. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. The, wow. the stuff inside of these are really awesome. And anybody can stop by and, and put in a ticket, buy a ticket, and a chance to win. We are drawn today at noon, but it's... Just amazing the stuff that is in these baskets. So you have a couple hours at least to get there yeah, and, yeah. and get the. T- how much <laughs> are tickets? Yeah, they're um, one for two dollars or three for five. Pretty That's reasonable. awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so drawings at noon. Right. Uh, and then you'll let people know if they win. You'll call them, put it on Facebook, or. Well, we thought that would probably be a good idea, yeah. Yeah. Or just <laughs> keep them for yourselves. That's, yeah. That's yeah. all right, too. No, that's really cool. All right, so you got a couple hours to get into the Y and get your tickets and right. drawing is at noon today. That's awesome. Yeah, just come right in and you can check them out and see which ones you'd like, if, decide if you want to do it or not. Boy, but. I'll tell you what. With all those great prizes, that might be a nice Christmas gift for somebody. Oh my gosh, yeah! Uh-huh. So a lot of people are really hoping to win them for Christmas to give those <laughs> to give those Christmas uh, yeah. gifts. I didn't get you anything this tickets. year because I was hoping I was going to win, but uh, <laughs> no, that's funny. Yeah, those penguin tickets are a big one. Okay, so that's going on today. Uh, what else is happening? Yeah. Uh, December is a pretty busy month, and of course, January's coming up, and a lot of yeah. excitement there. But we'll kind of slow into that right so uh (laughs) before we get into really the the programming that's going on how how would you guys describe 2019 for the titusville ymca oh boy oh (laughs) it's another busy year we had lots of uh fun programs going on we added some new programs uh one program Mm -hmm. that we just recently added this fall was kids night out and that's been a big hit um and we're going to continue to do that with kids and parents (laughs) right (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah, a, a lot of listening to our members, a lot of reflection on, on the programs and, and what works and what doesn't work. And um, <clears throat> it's, it's been a time of, of growth, and I think we're, we're learning all the time and really trying to, like I said, listen to our members and the community and um, branch out and see what we can do to assist with the needs out there. And, you know, our financial assistance program is, is booming. We do whatever we can to try to get everybody in that – uh, that needs it and so it's it's been a good year so uh holly i'll start with you what's one thing that really stands out as something that you're extremely proud and i know you guys are proud of everything that you've done but what's one thing that you d- might mean a little bit more to you or just really stands out to you um i think that some of the things that we have done for the community like switching um to the using the community blood bank for instance for our blood drives because that stays local and helps our friends and neighbors in need right here and we always say you know you give blood anywhere we're all for it that's great um but that was just one thing that we could do and then we also had our fall i guess uh collection drive for the women of the moose so we helped out them this year and so that they could help others I think it's those community engagement, those social responsibility things that, that we're working on and focusing on this year was something that I'm really proud of. Cool. Jacqueline, how about for you? Um, I think just kind of the expansion of programs and kind of uh, going off of what Holly was saying with just listening to the community and hearing what people want and taking those suggestions and trying to build programs out of them and give the kids more to do in the community. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what program do you really enjoy uh, being a part of is there um, one that sticks out to you the the preschool programs that we've added those are a lot of fun <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they can be a little chaotic but they're a lot of fun we you just know, got done with basketball for the three to five year olds oh wow <laughs> you know who has that same amount of energy the folks who play pickleball 
<laughs> yeah. They're uh-huh. just as crazy as the little ones, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, see? <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're a great group. They, they really are. are. <laughs> and it's really cool to see them forging friendships outside of the Y as well. I was out to dinner um, downtown last weekend, and I saw a, a table, a foretop of pickleball players, and I know that's where they met. <laughs> And so that was really cool to see uh, people to building and forging new friendships um, from the Y. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I think the last time you were on Hall, you brought in a special guest who kind yeah. of talked about that and right. just meeting people and having those conversations and getting to know other people. And it's very exciting. And that it almost is. leads into the classes coming up in the start of the new year and mm-hmm. folks that you meet and friendships that you forge. And we'll, again, we'll talk about that in a second. But um so the programming that you have going on right now, will that start up again in the new year or do these programs come to an end and you're gearing up for new programs? Um, some of them stay the same mm-hmm. and then we, we start up some new ones. It's just a good mix. <laughs> so what's going on? Talk about some of the programming happening now. Um, youth floor hockey just finished up last Saturday. so. Youth floor hockey will be over, and we'll move into basketball season for the youth. <laughs> um, we have youth weight training. That's always a big program with the kids. We have quite a yeah. few kids in that, and that will continue on in January. Um, that's for grades 3 through 12. We have it split up. We're going to split it up into two different age groups starting in January. So That's awesome. It's a good thing for the kids to get in and start to learn the basics of lifting and get them in um, doing some physical mm-hmm. activity. And it's all supervised by Michaela. So it, um, if you have a kid that comes in and says, this, these are the sports I play or this is a sport I'm focusing on, do you guys have activities geared around mm-hmm. those sports to help them continue you know, weightlifting and you know, their, their workout regimen almost? Yeah, we can always um, work with people individually, come up with a plan for them um, that is more sports specific. We have more generalized programs that we can do with people when they come in um, that just want to come in and get physically active and um, we can gear programs toward their goals. So if um, high schoolers or middle schoolers are coming in and they have sport specific um, programs that they want to get into, we can definitely create those and help them get ready for their seasons. Awesome. Uh, Holly, yeah. you have a bunch of stuff listed there. What's, <laughs> what's on your I mind? Do. What's on my mind? <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> Related to the why. <laughs> um, for uh, the high schoolers and even adults, we have other things besides pickleball. We will be starting our indoor soccer program that's on Wednesday nights for um, ninth grade and up. So that's kind of, if you're a member, that's free. It's a small charge if you're not, but that will be starting on, I think, January 9th for, you know, adults in high school. So just a couple weeks? Yeah, yeah, Mm -hmm. right. And then we're going to try something new, which I think is a kind of cool idea. Now tell me what you think, but um, the mastermind over here has come up with these tournament nights. Yeah. So the premise, I guess, is, like, get your friends together, come in on a Friday night, we have the dates listed, and there's going to ro- rotate. So, like the first Friday night of the of the date, whatever the date is, um, like January 10th, basketball tournament. Ooh. So sort of like a it's going to be like a round robin type of a thing yeah. or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. She's so, like, okay. I got a couple weeks to put the <laughs> right, details yeah. together. <laughs> well, no, yeah. Michaela and I were brainstorming yeah. one day, and we were like, How cool how is how that? Do we try this? That is cool. It's super fun. And then and then in February, dodgeball tournament. Right, like a and Friday night big, dodgeball tournament. Yeah. Just a, whoever shows up, pick teams, get your team, whatever. That's cool. It's, you know, sort of a, a smaller scale thing, something to do. Yeah. And um, mat ball in March. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So, so once a month for the adults. That, that's high school and adults. Same thing, though, is going to happen for the kids. Adults, too. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So one Friday so night you, will be for adults, and one Friday yeah. will be for the youth. So you and Sam could be on opposite dodgeball teams. <laughs> that is awesome, yeah. Right? That'd be great. Yeah, and the littles could be, there's also going to be the same thing, same schedule, just different nights for youth tournaments. Super fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so Fridays are going to kind of rotate through adult tournament night, a youth tournament night, a free family Friday night. Anybody can come in, hang out, do your stuff, have a lot of fun in the Y, and then the kids' night out. So every Friday there'll be something wow. happening. 
Yeah. Jacqueline's like, I didn't really realize all that. <laughs> I mean, we won't be there, so it's <laughs> fair. <laughs> but no. uh, you're watching the Morning Drill on stream television and on Armstrong's Neighborhood Channel and listening to it on the Allegheny News Talk Sports Network here with our friends from the Titusville YMCA. But that's exciting. So that's going to kick off here in just a couple weeks. Yeah. Another big program coming up. <laughs> you may have heard about it. <laughs> Lose to win. Right. Our Loose annual toy. weight loss yeah. challenge. <laughs> How many Huge. years has it been? Uh, I think this might be the sixth year, sixth. the fifth wow. or sixth year. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And that starts right up the first of the year? January 2nd. Oh. So, right after the right new after year. Right after the new oh. year. That's Come harsh. Come on in and. That's, that's cruel. When, that's when people are ready. Yeah. You know, they're ready to, to make, make it in the year. <laughs> yeah, but so I find myself doing this now where like, I need to eat better. I need to, you know, watch what I eat. Oh, there's a cookie. Or there's a Christmas mm -hmm. whatever. And I'm doing okay this year. I, I am. But still, it's very tempting. Oh, sure. So d the excuse comes in, right? Ah, first of the year. Let well, that's why we have our holiday weight maintenance challenge. <laughs> People are okay. supposed to join that so they don't gain the weight before the new year. Excellent. <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> Challenging, huh? <laughs> It's going all right. So whoever joined that challenge, they mm -hmm. it ends, I think, December 28th. So we're getting them the whole way through the holidays, trying to maintain their weight. Okay. Um, and then there will be cash prize drawings for that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So I would imagine this time of year, great stocking stuffers might be memberships. Yeah, memberships. It doesn't just have to be a membership. You could, um, if you know somebody loves to take the classes, give them a cycling punch card. You know, because oh, okay. they have to buy those minutes or a group exercise punch card would be great. Programs for kids, like if you know that somebody wants to take swimming lessons when those start in the spring, you can do, you know, put that towards a program like basketball or or even something that they want to choose to, to do later, maybe like an outdoor club when, out, when school gets out. And we also have dining cards. So those are good th clear through September. There we're only not even halfway done with the dining cart, so there's still plenty of time to use that. And you just reminded me, Holly, and I, I don't know if you want to speak to this, uh, but uh, longtime member and just why activist Bob Schneider recently passed yeah. away and uh, just an amazing individual. But I, I remember, I think he was in the newspaper this year. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, got it, getting his dining cart. Number you one. Know, number one. Number one. He always gets number one. He will always, <laughs> he will always get number one. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And he will be missed. So. Mm -hmm. um, so dining cards also available, and mm -hmm. folks can come in and pick those up. Yeah, yep. just come in on the front desk. They're also available downtown at the Market Square. Okay. Yeah. Uh, getting back to Lose to Win, kind of go through some of the activities that take place during that process. I mean, it is really amazing. And is it, is it too late for companies to get involved or individuals? No. Um, Sign-ups are open, so you can come into the Y, or um, registration forms are on our website. Um, get registered. You can register as an individual or as a group of four to five people. And we do have some um, companies that join together. So if they're, they're all working together, they can join as a group and mm -hmm. trying to um, help encourage each other to stick toward their goals. Um, it's 10 weeks. So you have 10 weeks, weekly weigh-ins to help keep you accountable and free group exercise classes with the with your registration mm -hmm. it's so. uh really amazing uh and the 10 weeks flies it, i mean it does, it's crazy mm -hmm. to think oh my gosh it, seems, it feels like you just started right and then you know it's like <laughs> boom it's over um but you talk about the dead of winter when it's cold and <laughs> instead of you know sitting at home you're obviously getting healthy you're talking with folks you're meeting new people right. and it's a lot of fun there's some pain, <laughs> but it's well worth it, isn't it? Well, hopefully not too much pain. But, <laughs> no, yeah, but it, I mean like a good pain. Like, uh, yeah, I, I just gave myself a good workout. Right. And you feel mm -hmm. that soreness and you know that you did something. Yeah. And that it, then it's good and, and you're improving yourself and, and making things better and happier and healthier for 2020. So that's a great goal. And even if you're not making as great a strides as you want to over that 10 weeks, at least you're better than when you started. And, you know, we're there to help you, encourage you. And people that join this, we have, like, private Facebook groups. You get emails. You get support. We can, you know, talk about those fitness plans earlier. We can try to 
get something that kind of suits you and your needs and how often you can come in. Maybe you can't come in that often, but you want to do stuff at home. So we can help you come up with ideas. And when you track things and mark those activity minutes and really track what you're eating, it's, it's an eye-opener. And you start making better choices for yourself and you start feeling better. And like, oh, wow, this kind of works. This makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> the danger, though, is when you start to feel good and you think, I can allow mm-hmm. myself to have right? this or that mm-hmm. or maybe a couple of these. That's the danger, right? Keep it going. Keep motivated. Yeah, but you can because life happens and there's birthdays and there's celebrations and um, you can't beat yourself up too much about it. You just say, try to try to replace those negative thoughts with some positive ones. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're here to help you with if you're struggling with that. Okay, awesome. So uh, can you give us a sample of what some other classes are going to consist of? Um, yeah, we have lots of classes going on. Um, a lot of the classes that we've had throughout the fall will continue. Um, there are some schedule changes. Um, Pound will be back on the group exercise class uh, schedule. That's the one with the drumsticks. So you're doing lots of lunges and squats. <laughs> um, that's a lot of fun. We have some cycling classes on the schedule. Um, and some of those are just a half hour long. So if you've never done cycling before, those Cycle mm-hmm. Express classes are a good class to get you started. Um, we still have some of our step classes, high intensity classes. So there's something for everyone. That's awesome. Lots of different mm-hmm. times too. There's a yeah. couple of like classes on Fridays during your lunch hour. So if you know, you, you're able to, to run in and get a workout in and get back to work. That's nice. We see a lot more interest in that this time of year than like in the summer. So we tried to add some of those classes as well. Yep. Very cool. Wednesday and Friday afternoon. <laughs> All right. During your lunch hour, come to the Y. <laughs> Holly, anything else on the list? Um, well, there's some little kids things, a preschool kick, catch and throw with Jacqueline and, and Wes, I mm-hmm. believe. Yeah. So that's something else for the littles, three to five, K-5. K-5? Yeah. Okay. Jacqueline, anything on your side? Oh, I think we're good. Lots of fun <laughs> stuff coming up. All right. So I'll ask each of you, uh, it's Christmas time, obviously. If you could ask Santa for one thing for the why, what would it be? <laughs> Holly, what would, what would you put on your list? Um, I guess that I just, I we're just so blessed and ask that we continue to be blessed and that, you know, the members all understand that it is going to be busier in the new year and that that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Everybody was new once and there are going to be more people in the classes and, you know, we, we need that. <laughs> so, um, I hope that Santa fills their hearts with gratitude and graciousness and, <laughs> and patience and patience and yeah. And so... We want everybody to feel welcome. All right. Jacqueline, how about you? What would you put on the list? <laughs> um, we are always looking for support for our financial assistance program. Mm-hmm. So if people are looking for a place to give um, the end of the year. Oh, yeah, um, that's a good point, huh? Mm-hmm. Giving to the Y is a great place to give. <laughs> we help out um, lots of kids and families that um, need some extra support to be able to come in and enjoy our facility and our programs. Would people be surprised at what all they could do with with the donation i mean there's a lot of options right so could they come in and sit down and talk to somebody and and kind of get an idea of what all's available to to donate to yeah yeah always Uh Mm -hmm. stop come in come in (laughs) yeah we'll talk to you all right uh what are the hours over the holidays you guys will be closed when we we're not having any group exercise classes next week we're kind of given given um the classes a break there are a few that still want to meet because they're just hardcore and <laughs> that's fine <laughs> you know we love it and that's kind of up to the group instructor but we will be there every day except for christmas day okay we're going to close early on christmas eve okay and then same thing new year's we will close early new year's eve at five and we won't be there new year's day other than that you know, even though your group exercise class may be not be happening, you can still come in and use the Wellness Center. Awesome. Yeah. Have a mer- very Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Uh, <laughs> favorite Christmas song? Least oh, favorite Christmas song? Have a holly jolly Christmas. Okay. Jacqueline? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I don't even I don't have anything Do you have a least you. favorite? A least favorite. I don't think, uh, well, I'm tired of hearing Mr. Grinch from the kids. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. There you go. Hey, speaking of Mr. Grinch, Bruce Peterson coming up next. We are two camp for me.